New York City schools edging closer to a shutdown and reverting to all remote learning as the city's positivity rate edges closer to a trigger point. At 3%, the shift happens. The city currently sitting at 2.6%. If we get to the point where we have to close, that is for a limited period of time by definition. Uh, big picture, vaccine is coming. But even before we talk about vaccine, uh, if we get to a 3% or above level, then what we all need to do is fight it right back and get it back down again. The Department of Ed sending this letter to all principals last night, telling them to get ready. Out of an abundance of caution and to keep our school community safe, I'm asking all schools to be prepared for a brief time of fully remote learning system-wide. New York City schools positivity rate has been low for its 1.1 million school kids and additional teachers and staff, just 0.18 percent. This comes as some Brooklyn schools just welcoming students back after improving neighborhood COVID positivity rates and moving out of the red zone designation. Michael Mulgrew, head of the teachers union yesterday on the PIX11 morning news. If we can get this rate back down, we want our schools open. But we don't want our schools open and putting our, 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 our students and their families and all of the teachers and staff who work there at risk. Uh, and we've seen that happen already in different places, places in the United States. And New York City, and I'm, we're proud of this, has handled this better than most places. Principals urged to prep their teachers and students in case of shutdown. Some of the measures to distribute any iPads to students who need them. Inform teachers and students of all logins and where to access remote materials. Prioritize social emotional learning and mental health. And also get ready to distribute grab and go meals, which will feed not only students, but oftentimes families as well. And another factor playing into what could potentially be more, you know, disturbing results for New York City schools is that we're seeing enrollment drop, according to data analyzed by Chalkbeat. They find across New York City, enrollment has dropped three and a half percent. It's as high as 12 percent at some schools. Important because at the mid-year point, principals have to give up some of their funding when they see enrollment drop like this, making it even more difficult to run these hybrid models, remote models, get iPads into kids' hands. It just makes the whole thing so much tougher. Reporting live from Borough Park, I'm Kirsten Colpix, 11 News.